Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Nexus 5 and the Moto G and the Moto G recently got the Android version 4.4 that is KitKat but some of you were disappointed that we did not get the new Google Launcher experience on the Moto G that comes with the KitKat on the Nexus 5. For example, if you just swipe to the left, you get Google Now and you can also do Google uh, activate Google Now but just saying OK Google as you can see. Uh, and uh, you can actually make it work on the Moto G also and many other Android phones. For example, I have uh, installed it on the Moto G, this is the Moto G. And as you can see, I've installed the uh, new Google Experience Launcher like many people are calling it. And uh, as you can see, if I swipe to the left, I get uh, the Google Now and uh, uh, the OK Google also works. For example, OK Google, what's the weather like? So we get the Nexus 5 experience on the Moto G uh, and uh, again you can uh, you get the entire functionality like this for example you can access the widgets in this way uh, and I'll show you how to install that on your Moto G. Don't worry you can also come back to the original launcher if you don't like this I'll show you that also but let's first install it and I have an APK link in the YouTube show notes you need to download that i've already downloaded that before that uh, you also need to enable the google now for example if you aren't opted to google now you need to enable google now and uh, also you need to go to the settings and in the security tab you need to enable this option that is unknown sources you need to check mark it and uh, now just download the APK file that I have in the YouTube show notes. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so we'll install it. Uh, before that also you need to update one more app that is Google search. Just for search for Google search on the Play Store and make sure that it is updated. That's it and now I am just going to use my file manager. I've downloaded that APK file. For example, let me go to Astro and it's in my downloads. And as you can see, I have this Google Home APK file and we're going to launch it and install it. And I just press install. It'll just install it in a second or two. And I need to accept this. And the app is installed. We just uh, press done. And the next time when you first hit this home button, it'll ask for the launcher. And I'm going to select this Google Now launcher. Uh, if you just want to try it once you can hit the just once but i'll use it as always but don't worry i'll show you a way how to disable it also if you don't want it we'll set it to always now uh, the google launcher has started and it'll ask you to copy your icons etc uh, or you can start it fresh we'll just copy the icons and this is the new uh, google experience launcher and as you can see this is the app tray and uh, if you just swipe to the left you should get Google now. Also, uh, the hot keyword prediction like, uh, OK, Google, what's the weather like? It's 23 degrees. As you can see, that also works. Let me try again. Um, OK, Google, set an alarm for 6.30 p.m. Setting alarm for 6.30 p.m. And as you can see, uh, it is working perfectly. Again, uh, you can just uh, swipe to an em empty area on the home screen like this. And uh, let's say you want to add, uh, for example, you don't see many home screens here. The thing with the new experience launcher is that you don't have extra home screens by default. Let's say you want to add one more. You can just move, for example, let me move this app here and it should create one more home screen. So you add home screens like this. And let's say if you want to change the background or the widgets, you just hold on like this and here you have access to the wallpapers again it has uh, many of the, the nexus 5 wallpapers already preloaded so you can use that for example let's use this one and let's set this one so we have set that as the wallpaper we can also add widgets this way for example like this and you can drop down the widgets um, you can also disable this ok google uh, now hot keyword if you want for example ok google if you don't want this, you can also disable that. Just hit this, go to the settings and in voice, you just uncheck this hot word detection. 
if you uncheck that uh, okay google uh, will not uh, work directly so uh, this is how you set up and use the uh, nexus uh, what do you say google experience launcher on the moto g this also works on many other android phones for example i tried it with the nexus 7 it worked i also heard that it will also work with the samsung galaxy s4 etc let's say uh, now you uh, don't want this launcher and want to come back to your default uh, moto g launcher for example you can go to the settings and here check this option of home and here just change the launcher to the default launcher now if you press home we are back to our default launcher the background image has been changed but it is as you can see if you go to the left you don't get any google now or if you say okay google you don't get that uh, keyword prediction also to go back again it's very simple just hit settings home and select this google now launcher and you're back to the google experience launcher I hope that you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate it if you can click the like button. I've also made a ton of other videos on the Moto G as well as on the Nexus 5. Links for those videos will be in the YouTube show notes. If you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.